Hi, this is Sean with AppliancePrepare.com. Today we're going to talk about how to use an ohmmeter. An ohmmeter can be used to test most electrical problems with appliances. An ohmmeter is a device that tests resistance a circuit has to current flow. Resistance is measured in ohms. The higher the ohms, the more resistance the circuit has to current flow. The lower the ohms, the less resistance a circuit has to current flow. In other words, if a circuit has zero ohms, current will flow freely. If a circuit has infinity ohms, current cannot flow at all. The first thing you should know when using an ohmmeter is that the power to the appliance you are testing on should be disconnected and all the wires on the device that you are checking should be unplugged. Here I have some simple devices that are found commonly on appliances. This is a thermal fuse. Thermal fuse has continuity when it's good and when it overheats it opens up. To check this set your meter to the lowest setting in this case it's 200 ohms. Test to make sure the meter is working it should go to zero. Now place the leads across the switch. It should go to zero and it does. Now, let's do it on an analog meter. First thing you need to do when using an analog meter is zero the meter. Touch the two leads together and adjust the dial until it reaches zero. Now, take the leads and place them across the thermostat. It should go to zero, and it does. The switch is good. Here we have a cherry switch. These switches are used in all types of appliances. They're commonly used as a door switch for dryers or lid switches for washing machines, but they can be used in other places as well. To test the cherry switch, you must first identify the terminals. There are three terminals. One's marked COM, which stands for common. One's marked NC, which stands for normally closed. And one's marked NO, which stands for normally open. Let's test this switch. I'm going to place my meter between common and normally closed. With the switch not pressed, it should be closed. And it is. My, re my meter is reading zero. I press the button and it should be open. My meter is reading infinity ohms. it with the analog meter. I've already zeroed my meter, so my meter goes to zero. I'm going to place it between the terminals. My needle goes over to zero, and when I press the button, it goes to infinity ohms. That's the normally closed circuit. Now, let's test from common to normally open. And it should be open when the button is not pressed, and it is. Now, when I press the button, it should go to zero, and it does. This switch is good. with the digital meter. 
I'm going to place my leads on common and normally open. It's open now with the switch in the normal position and when pressed it's closed. Now we're going to test the heating element. This is a surface unit for a stove. We're going to make sure our meter works, and it does. Now we're going to test between the two terminals. My meter is reading 41 ohms, but when you test the heater, you're not going to know what ohms it's supposed to be reading. So if it reads anything, it's probably okay. Now you have to test from one of the terminals to ground. This should be open. If there is any continuity between one of the terminals and ground, your, your heater is bad and should be replaced. This is true with all heaters. This is a dryer heater. We're going to test it the same way. In this particular case, it's reading 11 ohms. Again, you wouldn't know the ohm reading of a heater. It's impossible to know the ohm reading of every heater. Just so it has continuity. Now, you're going to test for one of the terminals to ground. It should be open. If not, the heater is bad and needs to be replaced.